Minecraft 100 Days, the challenge on YouTube that is majorly overdone and gets all the views. But even with it being overrated, it was time for me to become part of the problem. Minecraft 100 Days as a Pikmin. This is a mod pack made by the wonderful modder Jay Salty on YouTube. It allows you to become one of the nine different types of Pikmin, all from Pikmin 4. Each Pikmin has their own special ability, and there's even a resource pack made by Juni Pinpan that incredibly changes so many textures, sounds, and models in the base game. Since I'm only allowed to play Pikmin games, this is my excuse to play Minecraft again. Consider checking out the trailer to this mod pack with the link in the description to find out how you can become your favorite Pikmin. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider that as well. Do it now! Oh crap, I'm taking too long on the intro. Let's begin! I decided to play as a yellow Pikmin because it's my favorite Pikmin type. Yellow Pikmin are immune to electricity, which is redstone in this mod pack. They have a high jump ability that launches you in the air. They have light bodies and can jump two blocks high. They have infinite haste too. They're slow fallers, so they can't take fall damage, but you can't touch water. You have only eight hearts and you're a vegetarian. So meat is off the menu, but let's begin. Day zero. Yes, we're starting at zero. I spawned on an island that was completely surrounded by water. Uh, literally anything? You can't start me off here. First challenge, I have to cross a river with no wood. I could build a bridge, but where's the fun in that, honestly? All right, this is it. This is a stupid idea, but we're gonna start it off like this. Go! No, no, okay! That worked well. <laughs> so after getting off, I found a village of a bunch of Hokotations. Everyone lives from Hokotate now. But the true star of the show was Otis is here. Ochi, Otis. What? Oh, nighttime arrived and I did not want to deal with any mobs. So I instantly went to sleep. Day one. Are we starting here or no? Hey, this place has a ruined portal and I got some obsidian from the blacksmith. I'm gonna fix it. Check that out. Finish the job. <laughs> well, I could go to the nether now, but I didn't want to go until I at least had gold boots just to be safe. So I needed some iron. This means it's time for the first cave exploration. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Okay. Never mind. I wandered to another village and traded to get some emerald pokos. And then the day ended for some reason. Yeah. Day two. I still needed to find a cave. So I looked on the map and found the perfect spot. So I named this the Cave of Beginnings. Arriving there, I was able to get some iron, but I went exploring for a bit too long and found out it's nighttime. This is- oh. Emergence cave is over. So I easily just went back home in one piece. Why did I just do that meme? Day three. Iron in hand, I started smelting it, but got bored and decided to make a new friend because I have none. <laughs> this is my sculpture. I'm naming him Frank. I got my gold boots and iron armor and felt ready to go to the nether. Am I ready? No. And off we go. Oh, and it plays that sound. Immediately, I looked on the world map to see where things were, and there's a fortress, a bastion, a bastion, another bastion. Now it's time to go to the fortress on day three. Is this too early? Probably. Oh, nether sparkly amore. Well, let's spin the lottery. What do we get? Ultimate spinner. Well, cool. That's our first treasure. There's only one thing I want here, and that's blaze rods. But they aren't blazes anymore. Uh oh. Bad idea! Did I do it? Did I get the- Okay, I didn't. Ah! Man, calm down, dude. Give me that rod. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Well, now that I got that, it's time to go home. Smoky Prog? Yo, what is up, my dude? By the time I exited the portal, it was already day four. I decided that it was time I moved out of these Hokotations basements, and I went to find a nice place to live. I never usually settle down at a place in Minecraft until I beat the game or have all my armor, but this time I decided I need a place to live for this video. After being on a boat for a while, I found another boat. Do you think I can take on this shipwreck? This was a shipwreck, but it didn't look wrecked at all <laughs> i could live on a ship like this dude clear out the water here this would be sick night four to six it was a lot of water in the boat so i spent my time getting all of the water out but this is a dangerous task ah, ah. Ah! 
<laughs> Nothing happened. Oh, oh but take this. Aha! Aha! <laughs> Oh my god, I should have placed down the bed. What is wrong with me? There, the entire place is lit up. Well, I think it was totally worth it. Day seven, now I can finally do other things. I found the buried treasure from the ship and collected its loot, but I have much bigger plans for this day. So I cheated with the world map and found an ancient city, which I will call the submerged castle. Treasure time. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah, I know that's not that good at all. Oh, wait, yes, yes, perfect time. Ah, not perfect time. Okay, that's enough for a pickaxe. And that's a little bit more. Oh, that's enough for an enchanting table. I always save this. I don't get any more diamonds until I have fortune three. After getting the diamonds, I arrived at the deep dark and immediately got PTSD. What do you mean? Don't scare me like that, man. You literally play the water wraith falling sound. There are three exclusive things I want here. Swift sneak, ward armor trim, and silence. Ancient cities have such great loot. Last resort. Silk touch. Good. But it sucks that it's just really boring what? footage until I started being too loud. And... Ah. Uh... No, we're going. Oh, we're in the clear. Days 8 to 10. Sweet, wonderful, boring, looting. I found swift sneak, so that marks one thing off my list. But I made a mistake, and my worst nightmare arrived. We're zooming! Go! Oh. 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 oh, oh gosh. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run! It's the water wraith. Whatever shall I do besides wait one minute until he leaves? And nothing interesting happens at ancient cities. But on another note, looking through the chest, I found some really good loot. Day 10 was the greatest day because I got another thing on my list. Oh my gosh! And the water wraith is here at the worst point of time. Silence! I got what I needed. I can't believe I got silence. And even before ward. You know what? I haven't seen a single ward trim here. What the heck? Day 11. Well, that was this place. After looting the whole place, I planned on making an enchanting table so I can upgrade my pickaxe to fortune three. Then I can mine all the diamonds in the world with maximum profit. But I needed more books. So I went to a new ancient city just to get that. Day 12 to 15. I got some of the books I needed and found some other types of books. Looting, give me that. Yo, know, out of all the places, I don't know why I can't find ward, but I can find silence. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I found silence in the first place I went. In ward, usually I have like eight of those. I used to keep track of how many wardens I ran away from, but I'm pretty sure that is over a hundred now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now having everything I needed, I was ready to get this over with. So I got the enchanting table set up and got the luckiest upgrades for my pickaxe. You take this and that. Fortune three. What the heck? Time to go diamond hunting. I also found an iron vein and got more iron than I can handle. But this is a good thing. Always get fortune three on your pickaxe. I managed to find all the diamonds I needed and got the armor. Now it was time to upgrade them. But some didn't go out as planned. I'm gonna have to replace that with protection. Blast protection, no. Fire protection, dude, no. Let you take that and get out of my sights. There, perfect. Yeah, that's pretty good for me. Okay, that and then boom. Now what about you? What do you give me? Knockback, by far one of the things that I wouldn't want. There, that's perfect. Take these, put them with that. Bending, unbreaking, protection four. And then we're gonna have to put swift sneak as well. Perfect. Now give me those boots. I fire protection. I'll get them next time. Day 16. I was ready to leave, but as I was leaving, I stumbled upon a lush cave. I took this as an opportunity to steal some axolotl. Now known as Guild Pikmin. Where are you? I hear you. Oh, hi. What the heck? Once I kidnapped them, it was time for me to escape back to my home. 
I mean temporary home. Day 17. I went off to find the perfect area to set up my base. And I found this really nice land I called the Plains of Hope. That was it for that day. It remembers my chat? Wait, if it remembers my chat, then it should always say... Yeah, that's right. Day 18. Since I now have full diamond armor, I thought it would be a great idea to take on a dreaded bastion. Finally, this is content I've been waiting for. Oh! Oh, this is not good now. Get back. Ah, they have carrots. I could get those. Ah, that's where things are at. You're not gonna alert the authorities, are you? Full speed? I'll take that. Now, take that. Iron blocks? Take that. What do you got in there, though? Oh, ancient debris? I'll take that. Okay. Well, this is not all the stuff I was hoping for. Day 19. I managed to find the smithing template. This was the only thing I needed to get netherite. I just needed to head back home safe. But there could be some really good loot if I just stuck around a bit longer. Yes, I'm greedy. Uh-huh. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. Good. Yeah, you're doing it. Good. That was your fault. Day 20. I looted the bastion and a bit more, but finally decided that it was time to go. But once I got out, there was a horde of zombies coming after me. Abandoned husk? You're not abandoned. I sure I left you here. Oh my. What the heck? Guys, I haven't eaten at all. We maybe save this for later. Why are there so many of you? Dude, I did not plan to come back to this. Sheesh. That was really weird. Day 21 started off the worst way possible. Starvation. I didn't have food. I had to get something fast. Something. Something. I need to eat. Ah. Ah, that was close. Give me all of this. So then I went back home and made a new setup to upgrade my gear. What about you now? Protection three. That's good enough for me. But what about you? You come back here. And what do you do? You have protection as well. Good, because that's what I want out of you. Day 22. I wanted a house and I had something already planned. I knew exactly what I needed to build it. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out, dude. 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 No. So I went to go get those resources, which is copper, sand, gravel, birch, oak, spruce, and yellow dye. But as I was searching, I spotted something strange on the map. That looks awesome. What is it? Oh, I gotta figure that out. It's right over here. What have I encountered? Oh, what? Dude, 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 this is the end stronghold. That's the end portal. What? I can't believe I found it. The end of the game? That's amazing. But I still needed resources. But honestly, who cares? Just skip and leave the good parts. Day 25, I found a pink amp rat. Oh my gosh, a pink amp rat. You know how rare those are? This is really the Plains of Hope. Come here. Night 28, I got ambushed by a bunch of mobs. Day 29, Louie came to my base that's under construction. Day 37, I went back to my ship and took the loot back to my new base. And day 40, I finally finished the base. Welcome to day 40, as it takes a very long time to build a house like this. You know, it's something Pikmin related. I just gotta show it off, man. Without further ado, eat some berries. This is my house. It's the yellow onion. And I know what you're thinking. Those are supposed to be green. That's why it's copper. Because I can't find anything else besides ugly bamboo to do with that. So I just gotta wait until it weathers all the way. I'm planning on adding a circle of amethysts around it. But you're probably wondering, how the heck do I get up here? Well, it's simple. Just like that. And this is my place. It's got everything that I need. Storage, food, a bed, and some supply making. Um, oh, I don't have a smithing table. And look, this is my pink amp rat. He just randomly spawned around here. But right now, this guy doesn't have a name. So how about in the comments, you name this guy, and I'll pin what I think is the best one. Now, it's finally time to get started on things that I actually have to do. Now that this base is done, I needed mending. So I don't have to worry about my tools breaking everything again. I went to the Taiga village nearby to trap one of their villagers to work for me. Getting mending sucks. It can take a really long time because it seems to be a really rare book. What, because it's nighttime you think you can slack off? It's not even nighttime yet. That's it. I'll sleep instead. Day 41. I got the trade. 
I thought I would take longer. Day 42. I needed more emeralds, so I went out to get cold and trade it with that super far away village. Day 43. I got all four mending books that I needed, but my helmet and boots still needed an upgrade so I can put on mending after. So I went to get more experience at the nether and came back and got some better upgrades. Yes! Apply this and name it. Um, what would the Hokotate name this? Mineral Extractor. I feel like that's what it would name it, but did I spell any of that correctly? Because English was not my best subject. There we go. We got the Mineral Extractor. It, this suit is pretty good. Okay. Uh-huh. Dang it. Ah, this is going well. I have mending on everything. Well, everything important so far. I'm gonna go to sleep. Let's go get some ancient debris. Day 44 the 46. I started searching for ancient debris. You want to know what those days were full of? But I eventually got enough for my five most important items. Day 47. I got back home and put netherite on my pickaxe, chestplate, leggings, and helmet. But I ran out of upgrade templates. Day 48. I went back into the caves and got some more diamonds. But I also found some amethyst to use for the ring around the landing areas. I left that cave with 32 diamonds. Day 49. I can finally do it. Cover me in debris. Yes. Haha, <laughs> that's right. I did it. <laughs> now that it was done, I wanted to get a little more style on my armor. So I gave the silence trim to my chest plate and leggings, the eye trim to my boots, and ward to my helmet, making me look super spiffy. Drip check. Now your fit sucks. Now I felt ready to go take on the end. It was time to prepare. I went to the fortress and got all the fire flap wings I needed. But as I was doing that, I accidentally hit a pigman and had an army come coming after me. Uh oh. There. Day 50. The halfway mark. I realized I never saw what the new wither skeletons looked like, but I was finally able to see them in person for the first time. Oh, there it is. But with the blaze rods, I mean fire flap wings, I set out to make a portal to a new village so I can steal their wheat. Next step was to kill Enderman. Aha! Oh gosh, that's actually terrifying. Oh my gosh, that's even worse than an Enderman. Oh, I did it. Day 51, eye of the progs in hand, food to last 10 seconds, and one determined idiot. I was ready to go. Here it is, eye of the frog. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Berserk Leech Hydro. Look at it. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. They made... Sheesh. They got the first one. What is with my aim? Dude. You want to launch me up there? No. Okay. Ah. Hit it. Someone. Thank you. That's one. Make a little den here. Oh boy, that could have killed me if I wasn't mining this far out. Come on! Come on! Come on. One of them! What the heck, man? Is it too high? Make up your mind! That's it, I'm going to the highest point. Look at that! Ow! Ah! Come on! Yes, higher. Got it. Oh, I'm out! It hit yourself? Dude, what? Good job for hitting yourself again. All right, final one. Aha! That's it all. All damage is now from me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Aha! You know, I'm surprised I'm not doing a lot more damage. Come on. Come down here. The battle is down now. Yeah, this is fine. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now this is the final. It's just a waiting game. Oh boy. Uh oh. What is happening? I could have gotten the battle years ago. Dang it. Last time. Calm down. Calm down now. You must be taught a lesson, you berserk leech hydro. Aha. You're dead now. You're gonna die. You're dead. <laughs> That's right. I did it. <laughs> and what is that? An egg. A singular egg. There you are. And... Egg. 
the next generation. Day 52. I finished the game. The Berserk Leech Hydro is dead. And I got its egg. But I wasn't done here. Let's go get some wings. Oh, that's really, really good for an iron pickaxe. Oh, Silk Touch. I'll take it. Hey, guys, beam me up, please. Do you need me to go closer? I can do that. You guys can do it. Uh, okay. Okay, we're going. Uh huh. Oh no, a bodyguard. Oh, whatever shall I do? Thank you for my wings. Looting three, unbreaking efficiency. I mean, those aren't really that great, but oh yes, I want that. Oh, that's kind of strange. Elytra. This looks so strange. Well, there's a way home. So this is what it's like flying with slow falling. <laughs> the safest elytra ever. And here we go. I'm going home. That's it. Day 52. I have done it. I got the egg. I got... Uh... The, okay. The dragon head. Uh, I'll never know it's there. And you know what time it is now. Hi there. But also goodbye. Thanks for playing my resource pack. Resource pack credits. Juniper Pin Pan. Sound design, Juniper Pin Pan. Sounds audio from Pikmin 4. Hey Pikmin were dumped by Kingo Kings 365. J Builder 1234. And thanks for all the help. Fast forward. Escape. <laughs> I've made it back home. Peace. Has been restored. Wait. There's actually already music playing. Day 53. I put my loot in my base and upgraded more of my tools, but it didn't work out so well. I'll take that. Silk. Okay. Questionable. Sure. Day 54. I started making that ring around the onion. Wow, that's weird to say. Ring around the onion. So then I pulled up a circle chart on the internet, got the wrong measurements, and started carving. Wait, I got the wrong measurements? Dude, no. It, it doesn't make sense. Look, how am I that stupid? I did this completely wrong. Day 55. I made a spot where the onion picks up loot because there's usually dirt there, and I never finished it. But I got some amethyst placed around the onion. Getting gravel for coarse dirt sucks. So I decided I need better tools. I needed experience and ancient debris. So can you guess what the footage looks like for 30 minutes? Day 56. Day 57. The ring got more coarse dirt. Wait, why have I not upgraded my tools yet? Oh, I need more diamonds. Well, it's off to a cave then, I guess. Day 58. I finally got my shovel to the peak performance it needs. Finally. There we go. Something I can withstand. I needed diamonds, so I will completely deprive my video of commentary and just mine a bunch of diamonds. Yeah, I didn't speak. But I did find this crazy mine shaft. Let's see. By the time I was leaving, it was day 59. It was nighttime, so this day was almost over. But I was finally able to get fully upgraded gear. Day 60. I went to a lush cave to get rooted dirt for decoration. And lots and lots of clay. Once I went to escape, I got trapped by an old enemy of mine. Oh, ah! Let me out. Ugh. Ugh. When I did get out, I went to go meet my business partner, the Stone Mason. Day 61. I need an emerald pocos. The clay I got will do the job. But what do I need this for? I need unbreaking so I can make sure all my tools have maximum resistance to breaking blocks. Well... I can't pass up Thorns 3 for that price, so I just have to accept it. Day 62. I was happy and ready to get Unbreaking 3, but things didn't go as planned. I'll probably find Mending before I get the right book here. See, I just, I just said that. Day 63. I tried to get Unbreaking 3 but no luck. Day 64. I spent 20 minutes straight just doing this. I'm sick of this. I need to get this now. Thank you. <laughs> now I finally got the trade, but I needed more emeralds. So what's the best trade in the game? Sticks. I always go with clay after the lush caves were made, but eh, sticks are good too. That's it. I got it. I'm leaving. That's right. I just upgraded my stuff and said nothing. That's how mentally drained I was. Day 65. I now needed mending books. Did I just have them already? Because of my lack of patience, I was trading iron to get emeralds. There you are. No, stop. Yeah, I, are I'm you sorry. Yeah, okay, that's helpful for me. Have you ever heard of kidnap? I mean, be relocation? Well, I decided to take some glow Pikmin from their homelands for my own future plans. Getting back home, I immediately left home to get the trade in. Okay, I'm already heading back. And finally, 
I got them applied. Day 66, I went to the nether to repair my elytra and sword. Let's see, what else happened? Put stuff in chest, started building a dropship. Oh, great. That's right, we're into the best Minecraft content now. Mindless building to make my home less ugly. Every Pikmin game has a ship in the area you land in. But since my onion is from Pikmin 4, I'm making the SS Beagle in red because mangrove wood. Speaking of which, day 67. I need to find a mangrove swamp somewhere out there. My plan was to fly somewhere in the nether where it leads to a spot in the overworld that's a warm area, but I realized I never brought a lighter for the portal. So instead, I had to trade for it. But then a nuisance spawned in and it accidentally made me start a war. What? What? Oh no, we gotta get out of here. What the heck is a zombie doing here? What the- how? There is no way I came out on day 67 still, so day 68, nothing happened until I found it. Day 69, Mr. Beast planted 20 million trees almost five years ago. Well, I wanted to help him out, so I chopped down 20 million trees. Day 70, I finished the SS Beagle and I terraformed a bit. Still awesome content. Day 71, I chopped down a tree, removed lava pool and replaced it with water, terraformed a bit and put the gill pigmen in that new pond. Okay, that's over with. Day 72, lots of terraforming again, but I got plans to build a lumignol, so I went to get trees. Wait, that's the wrong color for a lumignol. Who cares? Bread bug. Day 73, I started kidnapping bees. I mean glow pigmen. Wait, maybe I shouldn't say kidnapping. Day 74, I kidnapped all the bees I wanted. Day 75, I terraformed and went to the nether to get glowstone. Wait, are the days just starting to blur together now? Day 76, I started construction of the Lumicnol. Cool. Day 77, I got terrified when all the glow pikmin came out of the Lumicnol at once. Fuck! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Then I got the frame finished, but I needed one more Lumignol and got it. That was easy. Day 78, I got scared again. <laughs> and continued to fill in the Lumignol. I also put copper to oxidize and fix growing grass under the onion and put some lights around the area. I get bored with building segments like this. Don't you as well? Day 79. More terraforming and added more lights. Are you kidding me? None of this is interesting. Day 80. Grew a spruce to make puzzle, made a raw material area, and filled in the Lumic no more. What is even this video anymore? Day 81. I started building a spider war and at night decided to get some clay for trades and future builds. Day 82. I started heading back home from getting clay and then I went to the village with the awesome trade. Then getting that, I went to get the last three mending books I need. Oh, crap. I guess I'll just have to do with two. Heading back home, I put the mending books on those two tools and started cooking clay for terracotta. You know those pots in Pikmin? Yeah, just a basic gardening pot. I wanted to make those just lying around so the land would look nicer. I went to an acacia biome and got some wood because I needed some wood for this texturing and I stole some more wheat from villages. I swear, I'm planning to fight stuff soon. Please stand by. Day 83. I started making a flower pot. The plan was to finally have a place to put the enchanting table. I finished that and it was done. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to say. To test out the new area, I upgraded my fishing rod and didn't get that great stuff for it. But the second attempt worked in my favor, but not too much. I wanted lure, not luck of the sea. I then started fishing to try and get ink for another build, which I think you'll like. Day 84. I fished last night away, but then I realized why peacefully fish for ink. This is Pikmin. We kill everything we see. Next, I wanted a place for a portal to the nether. Well then, what's a better build than a Pikmin 2 cave? So I got the resources and started construction. I finished the frame but was too slow before nightfall. So then I went to go destroy the other portal and got interrupted by these stupid swooping snitch bugs. Still having time, I placed a new portal in its spot and started filling in the hole with flat concrete. This stuff is super dark so I always use it for places where you can't see anything. But I needed more ink so I went to kill more creatures. Day 85. I got a random amount of black concrete and went to finish the cave. Funnily enough, it was the exact amount I needed for it to be done. I don't hear ominous cave sounds. There we go. Listen to that. That's awesome! You walk up to the cave, it has ominous sounds. Okay, that's the cave done. First of all, let's just see where it goes. So, I went to see where the portal would lead to an instant ambush. Oh, hi. What the heck? It went into dangerous territory, that's for sure. I went to go add some more effects to the cave, and then Louie came back. Day 86. I started building a pellet posy, and...
Why does it look malnourished? Leaving that alone, I went to make a big trowel build near the flower pot. It seemed like a thing you would find in Pikmin, so why not? Day 87. Please, stop. You're not allowed to enjoy yourself. Stop singing. I realized maybe my puzzle wasn't looking that good, so I decided to place more anyways like an idiot still making work for himself by planting trees to chop them down. So then I resorted to a better way of getting rid of trees. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the sweet chaos, which is me playing Minecraft, setting fire to trees I just planted. Hey, yo, shout out to Mr. Beast. Thank you for giving us a hundred trees. Now he can feel warm the rest of the winter. But fire wasn't the best option. It made it worse for me, leaving behind annoying floating pieces. But you've only seen a lot of building lately. It's now time for the big stuff. I'm gonna finish what I started. I'm going to go take on the wither. Had enough shenanigans. Time for me to finish my job as a Pikmin. But first, let me get some iron, please. Eight iron blocks, two pumpkins, three plasm skulls, and offended sand. Why is it offended? It has a bunch of people's faces when they're offended. Day 88. All I wanted was an iron vein, but the game seems to not like me anymore, and instead it started giving me diamonds and a ton of mobs to fight. Getting all the iron I could find, I went back up to the surface. I wasn't looking forward to this fight at all. I challenged the wither in hardcore mode and almost died, but this was going to be worse since I only have 8 hearts instead of 10. So I made spicy sprays, healing sprays, and speed sprays. Day 89. After a whole night of cooking special sprays, it was time to head to the nether to get those plasm heads. This was super boring because it seemed nothing would spawn in and I didn't have time for that. But then I eventually found the skeleton and... Ew. There it is, the head, that is mine. But I still needed two more, and things weren't going so well. I decided to use the NTD radar map to list the names of bobs nearby to see how many actually spawned in, and it's a good thing I did this because there was literally nothing. Eventually one spawned, but it was pointless. Day 90, I'm running out of time, this isn't working, but then I thought of something. Mobs despawn when you get too far away from them, so I tried the strat of going far away from the area, despawning them, and coming back, spawning more creatures the hunt was on. Now it just has to continue to work. Ah! Ah! That was my worst fear. I could have screwed that up really badly. Ah! Oh, gosh! <laughs> Nothing happened. That's two. It's only one left, but I got distracted and went to a nearby bastion. I got some loot, but I was looking for good stuff. They could have gave me at least an armor trim, but now it's back to fighting. I just need one more. Please be the one. Yes. It's been done. I did it. Now to head home. No, stop being greedy. We need to get home, not loot places. I went home and got fire aspect on my sword and thorns three on my helmet. These things won't be a big help, eh? Eh, I was going to go, but I forgot to get the offended sand. Silly me. Now I can rest peacefully knowing I'm gonna die tomorrow. Day 91. It's my time to do the thing that terrifies me the most. But I've been too busy building garbage. Lots of garbage. It doesn't even look good on the map. But that's it. It is my time to die. I mean shine. We're gonna take on whatever lies ahead. Here we go. Going to take on the new wither. Not my preferred spot. I- oh. Wait, oh boy, this might be the spot. Let's build these guys. Oh, this stresses me out. I can do it. Mommy, it does help me. It is time. Ow, I am making a grave mistake. Ow, what a great way to start this off. Here we go. I'm gonna die. Ah. Uh. 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 Oh, this is not good. Take him on! Take him on! Oh no! It's the final form! I can't get up! I did it! I did it! What happened? It was so easy. I was panicking so much though. And these guys aren't feeling so well. Thank you guys for your help. Surprised you didn't die. I'll admit it. 
That seemed really underwhelming. Well, I went back home to make myself a beacon and placed it in this empty area. It would be cool to have something surrounding it, but I never figured that out. But with my unsatisfied thirst for blood, I wanted to take on the Berserk Leech Hydro again. But before I do that, day 92. Mound and mound, sap pot. I mean flower pot. What day is it? Crap, it's already day 93. I wanted to improve the pellet posy because I didn't like this. And it doesn't look any better. Well, after that, I started getting a spyglass for the advancement. Is it a plane? And then everything was all set to go back to the end. This is it. I'm doing this again. And I'm going to regret it this time. Now, there's some footage. Now having the elytra majorly makes me weaker, which isn't good at all. Oh boy. Yeah, I should have paid attention. Let's get all of this. Man. Ah! <laughs> Achievement done. Oh boy, time to get out of here. Thank you. Hydro's breath. Now. Man. Ah! No! Ah! 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 The heck happened, man? How am I not dead? My arrow, I broke it, it fell down on it. I killed the plasm ray. You have less health than that. I was doing it. With it nearly dead, I just wanted to finish the job. But then I got cocky and tried to have a battle in the air. You want this battle. No! Oh no! I deserve that, honestly. Oh, we must go back. I can't believe I died to that. By this time, it was day 94. I have to do this again. Now with no defense, I have to traverse the end and get my stuff back. But he was heading straight towards me. Chest plate and boots. Where are you? Where are they? There. No, I'm mad. I'm really, really mad. Now it's time to kill. I did it again, but I failed the second time, so it's nothing to brag about. My next step here was to find another end city so I can get the last end advancement. It took a very long time to find anything here, but I eventually did. I looted the ship, of course, and then it was time to get the final advancement. Ah, there we go. I'm going home. Day 95. I lit up some of my builds with the end rods I got, and that's right, five more days to build! So my next plan was to get a decoration that's big. I wanted to make the blue fence from Sun Speckled Terrace in Pikmin 4. It was going to require a lot of blue wood. So I went to the nether to deforest their warped forest. By the time I came out, it was day 96. I started building the area it covers and spent the whole day doing that. Then I went back to the nether to get more wood because I ran out. I don't want an unfinished build. Bruh. Day 97. Why is it taking me so long to do this? I did the same thing yesterday. Day 98. Finish it already. We don't have time for this. I still have one more thing I want to do. Well, on a different note, I was wondering what this interesting meter over the food bar meant for a while. And after drinking some glow sap, also known as nectar, I found out. What? What does the little green bar mean? I just gained the flower, even though my model had one this whole time. But with this flower, I now have increased speed. I wish I knew this earlier. I needed more wood. So I went back to the nether again. And as I was heading back, I got stuck. I hate withering blowhogs. I had to fly to my old portal, meet Frank, and head all the way back over the ocean, where I then finally finished the fence. Gosh, that took too long. So then I went around just killing mobs so I could get a safe look at the fence, and somehow I got too close to a creeper with an elytra. What the? They really do make you weak. Day 99. Technically day 100 because I started from zero. But I was going by when the game said it was day 100. So 101 will have to do. And as a great conclusion, I actually finished filling up the Lumignol. But for now, I'll let my commentary take over for this day. The Lumignol is done. There's the ugly fence. Ugh. All in all, my work here is garbage. It sucks. It's terrible. But oh well. But what do you do on a 99th day? Well, I'll show you. It actually involves me getting some more resources. Hi there. You're gonna die. I'm gonna say I have enough. Why might I need bones? It's the most important part. Let's go into the forest. You rock Pikmin. Check it out. We got 
our first Pikmin as a Pikmin. Okay, I'm gonna talk again. It's a Pikmin hunt. I wanted to gather a ton of Pikmin on the last day because this is Pickcraft. And what's Pikmin without more Pikmin? So I tamed a bunch of rock Pikmin. And after getting a lot, I needed to head back home with them. By foot. Time is ticking. Mobs are rising. And the Pikmin aren't rock Pikmin anymore for some reason. But speaking of rising, the sun was almost up. I needed to make it back before day 100. This is gonna be close. Everyone, come on. Hello, Pikmin are out. The Pikmin are out. Welcome to day 100. We have arrived. What the heck is happening? What is going on? Welcome, Pikmin, to your new home. But now that I have Pikmin, there was just one thing that was missing. Or should I say, someone was missing. There he is. It's our boy, Otis. Otis, come here. Yes. 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 Otis. Day 100. We got Otis. Otis is here. There it is. I got Otis, and now after heading back home, it was time to take a photo of the whole crew together. Almost there, waiting for the glow Pikmin. Gonna terrify me when it happens. Almost there for the photo. Ah, oh, there we go. That's it, we're done. Which means now it's day 101. Wait, I can't go this far. Quick, stop the video.